On the Korean Peninsula, about a thousand U.S. military personnel from the Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and Army, and about 500 Republic of Korea troops are taking part in the bilateral Max Thunder 17 exercise. Now that began yesterday, April 17th. It's hosted at the Kunsan Air Base uh, through April 29. And this is an annual exercise, and it has been in the planning stages for months, and it's designed to improve interoperability between South Korean and U.S. forces who will be operating out of air bases in Korea and Japan. Uh, Exercise Max Thunder serves as an invaluable opportunity for U.S. and ROKAF forces to train together shoulder to shoulder and sharpen tactical skills vital to the defense and security of the Korean Peninsula. And this was said by Lieutenant General Thomas Bergeson, the uh, 7th Air Force commander. He said this in a press release. And he went on to say, this exercise will rigorously test our aerial combat capability and highlights the ironclad commitment between the U.S. and the Republic of Korea and the multifaceted capabilities we possess in this theater. And considering how, uh, how the climate is right now in the Korean Peninsula, this could be maybe the most important of these exercises that they've held to date as, of course, we have uh, more aircraft carrier groups headed toward North Korea right now in anticipation of a possible, possible, possible strike on North Korea, depending, of course, on a number of things. Now, the aircraft taking part in the exercise include the F-16 Fighting Falcons from the 7th Air Force, the AV-8B Harriers from the 12th Marine Aircraft Group, and EA-18G Growlers from the Navy's Electronic Attack Squadron 132. In addition, there will be F-15K Slam Eagles, F-4E Phantom IIs, F-5E Tiger IIs, KA-1 Wungby Light Attack Aircraft, C-130s, HH-60 Helicopters, and CN-235 Tactical Transport Aircraft according to Pacific Command. So this sounds like quite a drill. Um, and again, this could have a special significance considering the current climate out there. Anyway, wanted to share this with you. I will leave you a link. And as always, I'll remind you, as the Bible says, don't be given over to the spirit of fear, but of the power of love and of a sound mind. And... Um, this comes through our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our Lord, He is our Savior, and He does not change. And despite how frightening things may appear out there in the world right now, run to Him. He is your rock, your fortress, and your strong tower. Please hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. And if you feel so led, check out the links to my books and my music. This is Jim signing off, and I will see you soon.